Hi, this is Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour and Learn Google Photos. And in this video, I want to show you how to get started gathering all of your photos into your Google Photos account. First, I want to show you an empty Google Photos account. So all you do is you go to a web browser and you go to photos.google.com. And I have another account I can use, which I know is empty. Go to Google Photos and sign in with that account. So realize the account you use is so important. And you will need to know the username and password for, for your account and possibly your two-step verification. Because your photo, once you put photos into your account, they are private for you only. So see, this account is empty. There are no photos. Ready to start adding some photos? So now to my phone. So this is my iPhone. The process is pretty much the same on an Android. Google Photos does not come pre-installed on an iPhone. What you need to do is go to the App Store and search for, for Google Photos. There it is. If you have never installed it on an Apple device before, it will say Get Here. I have, so it's in my cloud account. I just tap where the cloud is and it will download Google, the Google Photos app to this phone. You could open it from right there, but I want you to see it on a home screen, there's the icon, and you tap it. I would allow, you know, if you're going to use Google Photos, I would allow it to do everything it, it asks. So you enter the username and then the password. So now we're getting ready. Your photos and videos will be securely backed up to your Google account and kept private to you. So the photos that were taken by this phone, that are on this phone, and back up as Alice. Now here, you, you want high quality. Store more at slightly reduced quality. Choose high quality and confirm. And now take a look at the account button in the upper right. There's a little blue up arrow that is indicating that the photos on this phone are being uploaded to Alice's account. 1,567 items. That's going to take a little while. You can see the progress of your backup by the solid blue line around the account button. And if you want to see more detail, tap on the account button. It's telling me I'm down to 1,245 items left. And then it says 355 items to delete from this advice. So that means it has uploaded 335 items if you need the space on your phone, you can now delete them just by tapping that button. But if you don't need the space, I, don't advi I advise to leave them. Eventually, you will get to the point where you see this message back up complete. So 13, over 13,000 items have been uploaded. In my case, it took oh, a couple hours. It will be slower if you have a slower internet connection. So now let's take a look back on the web and see what has happened. So we're looking in the cloud on the web at photos.google.com and Alice's account, and I still see nothing. That's just because you have to refresh because I just left that window sitting there. When I refresh, we should see all the photos that have been uploaded from the phone. And sure enough, here they are. If your only photos were on your phone, then you're done, and any new photos you take with your phone will get uploaded. But I'll bet you, if you're like me, you have photos on uh, computers maybe on hard drives like this. This is my Seagate external hard drive and I have a lot of photos on here. Let me show you how you would go and get those. So back on the web, in the account where you want them uploaded and here's a button right here, upload. You have from computer, from Google Drive or download back up and sync. I'll talk about that later. So I wanna get them from my computer. I need to find that Seagate hard drive and I need to know the folder that they're in. And this 2015 Cuba. Now I need to select all the photos. I'm gonna do that with a control A and then open. 
and those photos start uploading to this account. 293 photos and it's showing me the progress here. 293. Now that didn't take hardly any time at all, just a few minutes. And it tells me 293 items were uploaded and I could put them all in an album if I want. Now I just want to go back to the main library and how come I don't see the Cuba pictures? Do I need to refresh? Maybe I will refresh, but I still don't see the Cuba pictures. That's because these pictures are from today, from December 2020. The Cuba pictures were in December 2015. So I'd have to go use this scroll bar and find 2015. And there are the pictures from Cuba. Now, what if you don't know what dates they were? Google Photos automatically shows your pictures in date taken order, but you can ask it to show you the most recently uploaded. I just click where it says search. Then there's some options and I click show more and there is recently added. Now I'm seeing the Cuba pictures because they were added after the rest of them. These are now in date added order rather than date taken order. So what if you have a lot more as I do on my hard drive? I could go back to this upload and get another folders worth or if I have thousands of pictures on the computer that's what this backup and sync is for. You download a piece of software to your computer and there are settings to say find all the pictures on my computer and automatically back them up. Upload them to the Google Photos account and we'll have another video on that. So that is how you get your photos from your phone or from folders accessible to your computer.